it's everyday news on prince and miller entertainment tv today is the 20th of november at 2022 remember guys to like share comment and follow and so guys my name is it seems like december january and i got to my one day job so uh, zimbabwe uh, will likely experience a longer hours of low shading as power generation at kariba hydro power station will be suspended for the remainder of the year due to low water levels at kariba dam zambezi River Authority Chief Executive Officer Munyaradzi Mudawafa revealed that the Zimbabwe Power Company ZPC, a subsidiary of Zesa Holdings, is more water than it had been allocated, necessitating the closure of the power plant until at least January 2023 to allow the dam to replenish. Kariba Hydro Power Station in Zimbabwe's only reliable power plant is Wangetemo Power Station constantly breaks down due to aging equipment while other smaller thermal power plants are constantly affected by shortages of coal. A letter dated 25 November 2022 addressed to the Zimbabwe Power Company by Mnodawafa advising the company to shut down the Kariba South Bank Power Station. It reads, uh, the reference is uh, exhaustion of uh, 2022 water allocating and need for shutdown of Kariba South Bank Power Station to avert risk of total shutdown of power generation operations at Kariba. We refer to the above subject matter as well as to the current water purchase agreement between the Zambezi River Authority, Zimbabwe Power Company, Kariba Hydro Power Company, Private Limited and Zisco Limited. Further reference is made to the higher level joint technical committee meetings of 10th and 25th of November 2022 held between the parties to the water purchase agreement for Kariba. Please be advised that as of 25th November 2022, Kariba South Bank Power Station had utilized 23.89 billion cubic meters of water, accounting of 1.39 billion cubic meters or 6.16% above the 2022 water allocation of uh, 22.50 uh, billion cubic meters. Given that the Kariba Reservoir usable storage currently stands at a partly 2.98 billion cubic meters or 4.60% full and that this limited two years a positive balance of 2.44 billion cubic meters which is at 10.82 percent as of the 25th of november 2022 zpc or um kariba hydro power company private limited no longer is any usable water to continue undertaking power generation operations at kariba south bank power station with the current performance of the 2022-2023 rainfall season in the kariba lower catchment where the river flows are yet to improve and the associated inflows from the upper Kariba catchment which will only influence any potential increase in the lake level at Kariba. During uh, the later part of the first quarter of 2023, it is highly unlikely that there will be any reasonable inflow argumentation in the remaining period of the year 2022, giving little or no chance of improvement in the reservoir storage levels during the remaining period of the year 2022 and going into the first quarter of the 2023 if the current water utilization above allocation at Kariba South Bank Power Station continues, the remaining water for power generation at Kariba Life Storage will be out by mid-December 2022 or much earlier. Guided by the water purchase agreement and the provisions of the ZRAX and as agreed reserve operational framework under the Joint Technical Committee, where the authority and the two Kariba power generation utilities are obligated and they have agreed to sustainably operate the reservoir, the Zambia's River Authority is left with no choice but to firmly guide the ZPS uh, and KHPC immediately ensures that generation activities at the South Bank Power Station are wholly suspended henceforth until January 2023 when a further review of the substantive hydrological outlook at Kariba will be undertaken which will include consideration of the total reservoir life storage build up which would have resulted from a shutdown of the Kariba South Bank power station power generation operations. So guys, that's the latest here. And yeah, so, uh, so we're going to be keeping you guys in the loop regarding to any new information, but it seems like a lot of shedding uh, until December, early January. And yeah, unless Kwakanaya Mafasham Mvura is going to change, but as for now, I don't know because Vura 
akusisina and so we're gonna keep you guys in the loop here on a daily news breaking news on prince miller and the timmy tv remember to like share comment and follow and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads that we do upload here this is a daily news breaking news everyday news bless up